Yeah, we money right here. Oh, this guy old money. You <laughs> got I need some old. Damn, it's a lot of old money in this. Yeah, man, hood poet it is. Man, a little baffle lot, man. Yeah, icebox, man. You know I'm f around when I'm up here, man. Big money been spent on bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, man. So I'm a 3D off of that one for you. Um, Brody, I ain't know how had up purple change. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, this is too hard. This look crazy in person. Yeah. I Oh, I'm bumming all this, right? Oh my god, I'm gonna buy it, bro. When you see it, you wonder what is that? Yeah, this is long, man. Wow. Bro, it's such a complicated pendant. Like, the detail on the mics are so many pieces. I like it because it's true to your name. You really like the hood color, I Like, for real. Like, yeah, bro, man, I work hard, man. <laughs> no, but your writing skills, you know, I listen to your music a lot, and your writing skills are up there, you know? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, bro, yeah, this is crazy, man. I always want to make the biggest pieces in the world, and you stop me. This is perfect because we were looking at one size bigger too. Yeah. <laughs> but this is good. This is the ultimate size, you know. Like yeah. one yeah. handle this one. Detail, oh, detail, bro. Detail, detail, detail. Yeah, I'm on cue. So where's the purple heart come from? That's like for the soldiers. Yeah, yeah, okay. So a lot of my customers, they want to come, they want to spend the bag, but they have stupid ideas. I'm like, we can make something really shiny for 200,000, but it's not gonna look good if the concept is bad. You get what I'm saying? But this one, it's really like three, four pieces in one because you could have just got a big purple heart. You could have just got a goat, but instead we put it in one and it meshes real well. It just looks intricate. Hey, bro, great, like I got bricks in that. Yeah, that I'm around. Oh. I got a brick on my neck. Yeah, man, that's a little bap a lot right there. Maybe bap. I was pressing this. Man. Well, uh, oh, the little kid. You hear me? The J was a little bit of sh Get big over time. <laughs> yeah, man. Who up, poor it is? Man, a little bap a lot there. Yeah, Icebox, man. You know I'm around when I'm up here, man. Big money been spent. Oh, bro. I don't need move with. I don't need, need to open that part, though. Yeah, with money right here. Oh, this got old money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is what I need. And hey, this is so great. Got a really pop band. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm keep this right here. Yeah. I need them old, damn, it's a lot of old ones on this. Hey, let me see the other bag. <laughs> get the other bag of money. And if it's not there, you can get the other, other bag of money. Dang, you got two. Ain't hard, too crazy. Oh, I got a Londo, wow. I want to be a charge, man. I just really be collecting my old hundreds, man. How much your old hundreds you got at home? Uh, we won't say that. We won't say that. <laughs> but clearly, this clear. All right, so that's a good fifty right there. Okay. Yeah, this is money right here. Okay. And you pay what for nut? Yeah. Okay. You almost there. One, two. This long story and the animal that's your fire right along me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna bat, but it is more different. I bought out this early. In what's the game up, man? I would ever see which chain even fuck. I'd have. I
Yeah, let me go on some of the fruit snacks. I ain't eat all day. Uh, yeah, water, the free sun, coke, right? Let me go on the free sun, look out for some blood. So Skylar, listen, mm -hmm. we have to make sure we have appraisals done for everything, at least that everything that we've made. Yeah. Have them fix this up. When I'm at home, when I be on um, the road, it be like a day, two days. I'm gonna tell you, man, you got Larry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, do you have a uh, definitive date for when the album drops? Uh, it's confidential. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you should be the chain. <laughs> tonight at 12. Yeah, he said he's doing no music. No, but this is part of my rollout, though, the uh -huh. okay. chain yeah, reveal, yeah. so. Okay. Yeah, Martin we've, been, we've been dying to post it too. So when this uh, drops, just know that it's gonna drop. Soon, soon. How do you feel about this album compared to the last one? My first few albums was released when I was like young, young as hell. You know, I'm like 24 now. I'm still young, but yeah, it's like you were ahead in the music, the age difference, basically. Yeah, growth. Yeah. yeah. My voice a little deep on the songs. And I'll be listening yeah. to my old shit. Like, I really used to sound like that. Yeah. Like, I still, like, I'm still going through puberty or some shit. <laughs> you started so young, though. Yeah. 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 Younger than 16, right? You were hitting the charts, right? No, I was like, uh, my first popped off, I was like 19. Okay. I know I started rapping. Really Wait, you when know, I was his like thing, 18. his first album that he dropped went. Psh, yeah. According to his plan, like he didn't drop like 10 mixtapes, he went for full quality. Because uh, Die Legend, that was your first that was my album. First, my first project ever. Ever. Like, bro, your first album to. Yeah, man. Be that legendary. Yeah. Bro, yeah. But that's you also great. had a good, like, fan base before that. Yeah, I it grew it over you, time. How did you have a fan base before then? Did you, how did, was you, like did you have really any just, name at all before Die Legend? It was the pop out record. Yeah, so it's pop out that that okay. blew it up, and then I followed up with. Uh, but prior to pop out, it was just street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had okay. finding things videos. out too, though. That blew me up. That was like the record that gave me signed, but I was just dropping a bunch of like. Oh, wow. You always like hold you. Did you have a name before that? <laughs> <laughs> My sh was Polo Gucci at first, like uh, really. Yeah. But I just shortened it to the G. My name used to be Polo Gucci, aka Mr. Do Too Much. That's <laughs> okay. my full rap name. <laughs> I shortened that. Are yeah. oh, y'all waiting on the uh, yeah. hood pole? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Scott, actually, Scott, uh, stay in for one sec. Let me yeah. see on this. We're gonna tell Mo to do purple faces, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, give me a red kit, purple kit, on um, blood, black. Yeah. Black would be hard black. too. Yeah, because it's subtle. What about like producers? Who's who you working with? Is there anything to be expected on this album? Besides Sizzle, we know you were working yeah. a lot. Yeah, with that's Sizzle. that's really only I got ATL Jacob on there. Oh nice. ATL Jacob uh, produced some shit on there, but really it's only Sizzle his count. Smack like a primary dude on there. He under Sizzle though. Like, okay. Smack. So he's eight or eight months. Cold. Smack. Wow. Cold. Where's he from? I, New York. Oh okay. He a dope. I think he gonna be one of the next bigger producers in, the, in in this industry. Oh, wow. And uh, how long has he been working with SZA? He, the crazy thing is, I heard them saying a story. He met them the first night me and SZA locked in in New York. Like, oh, he was wow. kept trying to play beats for SZA. They were like, no, nah, yeah, like, like, chill out. The time. Yeah. And he played him like two, two, he played two beats out loud and I was fucking with him. And I jumped on the, the beats and yeah. Sizz was like, damn, it's hard. Yeah. He was what about that? Wow. So you kind of put him on, basically. Sizz will put him on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I with Smad, though. He hard as That's We be locked in in LA, like, down there every day. You ever work with DY? DY, yeah. He's yo, from, he Chicago, from the right, yo. That's the crazy part. Yeah, he yeah. got some on the album, too. Oh, DY. nice. Yeah, DY, he's one of my big clients, too. Okay, look, these waxes can break very easily, but I want you to, we need to f figure out which finger. And then, um, and then I also want you to tell me what you think about the size of it. That's hard. Bro, it's crazy, bro. It has all the details from the big piece. You think an uh, index finger gonna look right, though? 
growing up, I used to love, Lil Wayne had that square ring on his index finger. I used okay. to love it. And this one's kind of squarish. Yeah, I say index finger though, because all of my other rings fit like this. And if I want to wear all yeah. four, I yeah, I'll say index. Cover again. <laughs> Any features or is it all you? Yeah, features. I got a lot of features on there, actually. Like, yeah. I usually don't really be putting yeah. a lot of features, but my last two projects had a lot, because, you know, I'm, like, deeper in the industry now. Yeah. And that's be counting for some. Yeah. I does. think after after this one, though, I'm going to really stray away from it. And, and I know from experience as an artist, like, I probably a promise a song that I can't give them till four months later. I really be hate going through that process myself. How'd the marshmallow thing work? I f with marshmallow, so I, we know mutual people. That's we cool. just locked it's in. It's a completely different genre. Yeah, but I've been locked in with my, I, I think I was with him one time at Juice World Career before. That's when the first time I met him and we made the Hate the Other Side record. Mm. So y'all actually like chill? Yeah. At one time, and then um, other times I met him just locking in with just me and him. What's your favorite part after the album drops, like for you personally? The exhale one. Like it's all done? <laughs> yeah, cause that sh be hell. I went to the Wiz Khalifa show last night. That bitch was lit. Yeah. He a good Snoop performer. Yeah, yeah, he's so good. How did he perform though? Like he performed over the track or he, like it was just live? I uh, know, it was live vocals, yeah. Yeah, man. He's I'm so good, yeah. A lot of, People do that shit. I'm like, damn, it's like make me think I'm doing my shit wrong. No, doing? not at all, but the thing is that. Like, um, with over the track, like, where you hear my mm. voice too, like, the song too. Yeah. But a certain, it's like, it's, it's like back in the day, artists, they just. Instrumental. Yeah. They rap the whole thing. And, and that's really like some new school shit to rap over your track. Yeah. But. I've heard people do, like, the. The secondary tracks too, like the ad lib tracks. Yeah. They'll create special tracks for certain songs, knowing that like the crowd is gonna sing this part of the song. Mm -hmm. So, but sometimes it's nice because like you can't always be the same in person as you was in the studio. studio yeah. Also, it's cool as a fan when you hear how they perform the song a little bit differently, like even just certain yeah. words. Who was your first concert that you saw? Not like any con any genre. <clears throat> like went to. Yeah. I ain't never really went to nobody concert. I know Shauna, she from Chicago. She used to be in that rap group with Ludacris. Yeah. Oh, wow. They had That's like a love, man. some love, like a free show or some shit. Uh, man, like this, I used to live on the west side of Chicago. And that's the only time I ever seen somebody perform before I started wow. rapping. Yeah. I was a little ass kid too. I was probably like eight. Wow. But I, I never w ever went to nobody's show or hell no. Yeah. Who'd you, who'd you grow up with? Um, Wayne. What's your favorite Wayne uh, mixtape and album? Yeah, my favorite uh, Carter Four. Really? Uh, I'm Carter too. It's like my most listened to. But that's album. only because I was like I came up. I was coming up as that's when I first started listening to music yeah, like yeah. that, and that was the first album I ever listened to front and back. Yeah. Did you ever work with him? If you could pull up. Have you worked with him? Wayne. Wayne. I got a song with him. Really? Yeah. How long? It was on my you? last album. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be walking me on that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you grow up listening to like R&B? Like in the, in the house and stuff? Hell yeah. Did, have you worked with anybody that you grew up listening to like that? No, but I do want to start tapping into Like my favorite R&B artist personally is Jasmine Sullivan. Really? Mm. I like, she got a lot of soul. Do you uh, perform with a live band? Yeah, I, I, I did it just recently. Yeah. I'm trying it out. I'm here with Polo G showing you off the new Hood Poet chain. Yeah, man, you already know how to f go rock a hood poet on the way. Shout out Icebox. All right, John. Uh, All right, another left arm to the back. Oh, my God.